Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Lundra. Now this chimney previously had smoke coming out of it if we ever tried to visit here earlier, but now that we've completed our last area, we can jump through and invade this guy's house because that door is locked. And that's the only way to unlock it. And we did this for... A secret pass! A secret pass to where, though? That's, that's the question. Where will the secret pass lead us? Well, uh, whose house did we barge into? Hey! What a coincidence! It's you! Yeah. It wasn't really my dream, it was Sybil's, but you know, whatever. You you might die, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Anyways, secret pass. Let's find out what it's for. Now, this area that we're headed to has, uh, at the beginning of the game was previously blocked off. It wasn't open yet. It opened up quite a while ago, but we haven't went there just because, well, there was really no point. We didn't have the secret pass, but now we do. It's this place right here. It's the Riverside Bar. And hey, look! It's it's the sailors from the Clark. That's the uh, the ship we were on at the beginning of the game. And that guy looks just like Jess, but it's it's not actually Jess. So the secret pass has unlocked this area for us. But what is this area? Well, it's a casino! And it contains three different mini-games. We'll start with this one. Slime Busters. Slime Busters is probably the easiest of all of them. It's 30 guilder per game, and that's fine. Because honestly, we're going to be getting a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money from this. So much money that we will never ever need to uh, ever worry about money ever again. So this is Slime Busters. You walk around and you hit slimes and you have to kill a certain amount each round. Every game in the casino has a total of five rounds. This game is, as I said, the easiest, at least in my opinion. Just go around hitting them. You, you never want to, like, stay directly on top of any of the uh, squares that the slimes can appear in because you do take damage if you run into them. And now we've completed the first round, but time has not ran up. Okay, there we go. Time's up. We're successful with the first round, and now it's time to uh, move on to the second round. Betting more money. So I will be back, and I'm going to speed things up because this kind of takes a while. And there we go! That is, that's the end of that. And for our, our victory over all five rounds, we have won ourselves a life vessel in addition to 480 Gilder. That's really nice! With all three of the games, we can win three life vessels as well as three Gilded Falcons. How exactly we win the Gilded Falcons, I'll show off um, a little bit after I'm finished with 
all of the actual games. Now this game is basically a shoot the targets type of thing. Now uh, this one's a little bit more difficult, but there's also a lot less risk. However, I'm really, really bad at this game. Uh, first round's really easy. You have to jump to hit some of them, as you can see. First round is really easy, but as things go along, things get more and more complicated. And see, you had to jump to hit that one. I couldn't tell. It looked like it was on the ground. And see that one? I thought I had to jump. No! I'm so bad at this game. But it's just a simple shoot targets. Later on, we will get things to avoid, rocks, and things that we can't shoot. As you can see, we have penalties. But this one is just like the last one. It's five rounds, and, uh... So, once again, time to speed things up. Okay, uh, that could have gone more smoothly, but it could have gone worse, I guess. Now we have a ton of Gilder, and we have once again another life vessel. I really don't like that game. I, I really, really just don't like it. But now we have the next game. And what is our last game here at the casino? It's the roulette. Five Gilder to play, that's, that's reasonable. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's there and we get to choose one and I chose blue, sure, why not? Come on, blue. Blue, stop on blue. Stop on a blue. Please. No, that's a green! Ah, oh, We lost, and um... So, in order to, uh, to do this, we have to win five in a row, and there is pretty much no real system as to how this works. It's pretty much just completely random. So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be back. I'll just be back whenever I actually manage to get lucky enough to get five in a row. Hey, look! I won! I won all five times! And I get a life vessel! So yeah, you can see the amount of Gilder we have right now. We will never need more Gilder than we have right now. There's another life vessel for us. So, now, Gilded Falcons. I said you can obtain three Gilded Falcons from this area. How do you do that? You have to be every game four times. That includes the first time that we've already beaten him. We have to be every game four times. I'll be back. And there we go, four times in a row. And we're also banned from ever playing again. That's the Gilded Falcon Forest Slime Busters. Time for the uh, archery one. And there we go.
Another Gilded Falcon 4 shooting that. And uh, now it's time for the roulette. Oh, this will be fun. So I kind of have a lot of money now. Just, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, kind of. That's pretty much accurate. So there we go. All three Gilded Falcons. Woo! Okay, and yes, I, I did save stay all the way through that because the, the roulette is just kind of bullshit otherwise. Next time on Let's Play Alundra, we get the hell out of the casino. Finally.